Leading worship can be difficult, and there are many who feel inadequate to step up to this task. But now, more than ever, it's important that we learn how to be better worship leaders so that we can have positive results and stronger leadership. I've played in both the worship band and led worship for a number of years in longer term settings such as weekly services as well as shorter term settings such as campouts. And so today I want to talk to you about three easy steps to becoming to making your your music ministry better through analyzing your lifestyle, practicing for what lies ahead, and finally leading on stage. So first Analyze your lifestyle. Look at your attitudes. Do you have a spirit of pride or, or bitterness where you either feel superior to everyone else or somehow that they owe you something? Do you, is your ministry filled with burnout, anxiety, depression? Can you feel it in yourself or, or can others see it in you? What about your attitudes, your actions? What do those look like? Is your on-stage life consistent with your off-stage life? Are you living biblically? Are you living in such a way where whatever you are saying on stage is mirrored in your lifestyle? And if not, make the necessary change. So after you've analyzed your inner man, you can safely reevaluate your schedule properly. Uh, which brings us to step number two. Practice for the future. Um, it's important that you learn to balance between anointing and talent uh, in, in, your, in your leadership. See, sometimes we get in this idea that if we just do the perfect solo, guitar solo, that we'll have the perfect and the Holy Spirit will rain down, or that if we just get up there and praise Jesus that everything will work out. But it's not like that. See, without practice, without that talent, without mastering your instrument or your skill, you're not prepared for a move of the Holy Spirit. You become rigid in your playing. You, you don't have a clearer direction. Um, but without the anointing, without the Holy Spirit working through you and allowing Him to, you become lost. Uh, you, you, you lose focus as to what you, what you should be playing because you don't have the talent to back it up. Um, and so, construct a set list that is a wide set list. It's important as a general guideline to start fast and then to move to a slow song. You don't want to start slow and then mix it up. Um, and also, brainstorm about what you want to do. How do you want to start worship? Do you want to go up there and just start? Do you want to have a word of prayer? Do you want to um, say a, a, a scripture verse? Do you want to transition between songs? Do you just want to start and then start back up on a new song? You know, brainstorm about this stuff. And so after you've self-evaluated, and after you've practiced, you're ready to move on to step number three, which is leading on the stage. The first part of lead leading on the stage is your presentation. It's important that you learn to balance between a performance and a presentation. Let me put it like this. You don't want to go up on the stage and be like you're having a rock concert where you're all about uh, performance. But at the same time, you don't want to get up there and just isolate yourself where you're not leading. You want to get up there and you want to lead the people in a spirit, a spirit, of, a spirit of, of worship. And you do that by noticing the basics of speech. Good posture. Smile. Look at the congregation during the first couple songs. Uh, make sure that you dress appropriately. Um, and next, be humble. Learn to receive and weigh criticism. When people critique you, take it and think about it. Ask someone that you trust, is it true? And if so, ask them to elaborate on it. Um, and then if somebody encourages you, be sure to thank them. Be gracious, be humble. But if anybody ever gives you any glory, make sure it always goes to the Lord. So in conclusion, I've shown you three very easy steps, analyzing your lifestyle, practicing for what lies ahead, practicing for what lies in the future, and leading wor and, and, and actually being on the stage leading worship, which will improve your results and strengthen your music ministry. Sometimes good worship leaders are hard to find, and sometimes worship is neglected, but through diligence, you can be the best worship leader possible. 
the results will speak for themselves. It's not important, as a worship leader, it's not important that you fail. Everybody fails. What's important is that you keep trying because you only truly fail if you stop trying. It's not about memorizing what's right and wrong. It's about learning your congregation. You know, um, if things are only less or more successful, there is no such thing as right or wrong leadership with, with worship. You can do whatever you feel like doing, but you have to look at what about the results. Is this more or less successful for my goals? Thank you so much.